things look uh, things looks uh, ugly uh, from from outside, but it's not exactly the situation. Uh, we had to uh, fire some staff. Uh, it's just uh, we have tightened up the teams. Um, we have to to I have to take decision as a good father. I mean, as a as as a father, uh, taking no risks with the company, with the future of the company. Fantastic thing about Aero is all the concepts that you see here on opening day. Uh, we've got the Roban uh, DR401 with a TP90 TurboTech turbine. And here to tell me all about it is uh, Casimir Pelissier, uh, CEO of Roban. Casimir, thanks for talking to us. Hello, Ed. thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, what can you tell me about the TP90 in this Roban? Uh, the TP90 is a project we believe in uh, for a long time. We have been uh, following them since 19, uh, 2017. And uh, we truly believe that it's um, a pragmatic solution for uh, tomorrow's aviation. Um, the, the turboprop has many, many advantages uh, and the consumption is uh, very low compared to uh, traditional turbo propulsors. Um, it is very silent. Uh, there is a very low maintenance. So there is a high availability of the aircraft. Uh, there is a, a range of um, uh, power, which is very interesting. It's, uh, they are reaching 155 horsepower, uh, which is quite comfortable for the, for the Roma. Uh, it will afford us to have four seats. Uh, it will be a 28 liters consumption. Uh, and it, the, the, the most satisfactory feature is that it's multi-fuel. So you can have SAF, sustainable aviation fuel, you can have JD1, you can mix with Avgas, you can mix with, even with rum or vodka if you want. <laughs> but it will be expensive. <laughs> uh, so whereabouts in the project is this, is this plan? And when will we, when might, might we see this certified and flying? Ah, this is the big question. Uh, this is the most difficult part uh, because uh, we clearly understand that it's a three to five years certification process. Uh, we have for an objective to make it fly before September. Uh, we'll probably be able to do it in June or July. Uh, and we will, uh, of course, invite you uh, when we do so. Um, but we really believe in that more than in electric aviation. Uh, I don't want to... I just give my opinion about batteries. Today, batteries are not giving satisfactory results. Uh, it's even... Uh, it's, it even looks like uh, a nonsense. Uh, so we are more working also on the electric engine with fuel cells, which is a market that will open probably in the next 10, 15 or 20 years um, because of availability of hydrogen uh, near the airfields, of course. Uh, but this is something we really believe in also, uh, is really the fuel cells um, giving energy to, uh, to an electric engine. So lots of exciting things yeah. coming for Robin. Uh, obviously, at the beginning of the year, uh, there was uh, the news that you guys were placed in this kind of supportive administration. Yeah. How are things in the company at the moment? And things are Im improving, getting better? Yeah, yeah, sure. Th things look uh, things looks, uh, ugly uh, from, from outside, but it's not exactly the situation. Uh, we had to uh, fire some staff. Uh, it's just uh, we have tightened up the teams. Um, we have to, to, I have to take decision as a good father. I mean, as a, as, as a father, uh, taking no risks with the company, with the future of the company. So it was, this decision has been made. Uh, it was a step down, the first for several years, uh, but we are already climbing back. Uh, we have uh, amazing teams. We have a strong partnership between CE Appair uh, and Robin Aircraft. Uh, CEO Pair being TC holder in design office, um, and I am the CEO also of CEO Pair. And both companies are working strongly together. We have made uh, very, very important recruitments um, in the R&D department. We have now a team of six people working uh, at R&D. So the turboprop is one of the subjects, and we have many others as the sliding canopies, as the front landing gear. Um, uh, we will discuss that uh, further after. Uh, so I think the, the future, we really believe in our future. We are very enthusiastic. Uh, we have no doubt that we, are, we will be counting in, in tomorrow's aviation. Um, and this period, the, the chapter 11 was also a way to show the authorities that we were in a bad situation. 
and we had to, to act quickly, which they did. They have been very supportive to us. Um, and just to finish on this point, uh, Robin Aircraft has absolutely no financial debt, zero financial debt. Only the down payments of the customers were the debts uh, at stake. And we wanted to make sure that no client panics because we fire staff and say, give us back the down payments and then we cannot finish the aircraft. Um, uh, although we can do it, we can finish it. So yeah. we wanted to make sure that we can keep on going uh, smoothly and, and peacefully. Yes. Fantastic. Well, that sounds like great news. And obviously, you also announced that you're running the Roban Classics um, service, where you're going to be able, people will be able to bring back their old Robans and have them made new. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, this is a this is a, um, a long time uh, requirements from our customers. Uh, these we have had many complaints about how we deal with uh, old aircraft, uh, how we deal with, uh, with, with difficult parts, um, old design parts. And we want to make sure that our most faithful customers have our most um, attention, most, most care uh, from ourselves. So we want to make sure they have uh, appropriate answers about uh, the parts delays and the parts manufacturing and, and that they are treated very, very uh, much more correctly than we, we they, 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 they felt uh, uh, we did in the past. Uh, it's very important to us, uh, for, for us to show that the aircraft is uh, everlasting. Uh, it's, it's a commercial argument. Uh, there is no limit of time on our aircraft. But if we don't support the customers with all the aircraft, then this argument is uh, this this uh, this argument has no value. So it's not an argument. Sorry, it's a uh, advantage. Uh, yeah, advantage. Casimir, Casimir, that's brilliant news. Thanks very much for talking to us. Thanks. Thank you, Ed.